We begin our roundup of week 10 at Stade Bonal, where Ligue 1 leaders Monaco got off to the perfect start against Socio. Yannick Ferreira Carrasco firing them in front after only five minutes. And five minutes later, it was 2 0 as the under 21 at Belgian International took advantage of some sloppy defending to start home his second. The Socio did hit back though in the second half with Cedric Bakambu and Joseph Lopi bringing them level from Rafael Diaz corners. So a point for Helve Renault on his first game in charge of Socho, while Monaco lose top spot. And that's because Paris Saint-Germain were in devastating form against Bastia at the Parc des Princes on Saturday. Well, the first goal will no doubt be beamed around the footballing world in the coming days. A simply brilliant and improbable back heel from Zlatan Ibrahimovic to make it 1-0. Well, the super Swede showing why he's the boss here at Paris Saint-Germain. What about that for technique? A simply wonderful goal, this. And just three minutes later, it was 2-0. And it was that man again as Latan Ibrahimovic, the captain, in the absence of Thiago Silva, nodding in his fifth goal of the season. Well, Edinson Cavani replaced Ibrahimovic at half-time and then produced a stunning goal of his own. Jinking through the Bastia defence past the goalkeeper and just rolling it coolly home to make it 3-0. Absolutely magnificent stuff from the Uruguayan as well. Paris's front men firing on all cylinders. Two remarkable goals for the Parc des Princes to enjoy. What about that for a finish? And the Matador then wrapped up proceedings from the penalty spot. His sixth goal in Ligue 1. A brace for him and for Ibrahimovic, a 4-0 for PSG, who return to the top of the Ligue 1 table. <laughs> Meanwhile, René Girard returned to face his former club as high-flying Lille travelled to Montpellier. It took only four minutes for the northern side to take the lead through Pape Soiree, nodding in here from a Florent Balmont corner. Some poor defending from the Montpellier side. And that was to be the only goal of the game. Lille's defence has now managed a remarkable eight clean sheets in ten games this season. And in spite of this late penalty for Montpellier, they kept that record up. Vincent Enieva, the Nigerian international, denying Remy Cabela as it finished 1-0 at La Mousson. Nantes continue to fly high. The Canaries are up to fourth place after a 1-0 win away to Ajaxio. The only goal of the game coming courtesy of the American substitute Alejandro Bedoya, just at three minutes from time. Nice made it three wins from three at their all-new Alliance Riviera as they hosted Marseille on Friday night. And a surprise, surprise, it was Dario Kvitinic who scored the game's only goal five minutes before half-time. Some fine work in midfield from Mahaman Traore, a neat ball through for the Argentine and a cool finish. That is his sixth goal of the season. Finished at 1-0 for Nice, and they join Marseille on 17 points. In Friday's other game, Toulouse got the better of Reims at Stade August alone. The visitors to Toulouse took the lead shortly before half-time through Oscar Trejo, after fine work from Martin Braithwaite and Wissam Ben Yedda. The Reims equalised after the break. A fine curling strike from the edge of the area from Prince Onyange. Unfortunately for the hosts, this late foul on Clément Chantôme and Antoine Deveau a red card and to lose a penalty, which Braithwaite converted to wrap up a 2-1 win for the men in purple. <laughs> Lyon managed to rescue a point at home to Bordeaux on Sunday night after going behind to this Ludovic Abraniak strike in the 62nd minute. A fine ball in from Henri Sivy. But substitute Jimmy Brion struck late on for Leon to secure a valuable point. Nevertheless, the men in white have won just one of their last 12 games now in all competitions. 1-1 one, one it finished at the Stade de Gerland. Saint-Étienne took the lead at home to Lorient through the returning Brandao. The Brazilian nodding in this Johan Molo corner after just seven minutes. And the perfect start continued at Folliver as Benjamin Cornier made it 2-0 in the 14th minute. An absolutely wonderful strike against his former club. 
Well, Lorient did pull one back shortly before half time through Jan Jufra. And this is not one that the Saint Etienne goalkeeper Stefan Ruffier will want to see again in a hurry. But another man returning from injury, Max Alan Gradel, then restored at Saint Etienne's two goal cushion in the second half after coming off the bench. A wonderful pure drive in off the post to make it 3 1. It was a nervy finish as Vincent Abubakar headed in, but Saint Etienne held on for a 3 2 win. Evian went 1 0 up at home to gang on through Nicolas Bernese after a neat 1 2 move with Kevin Berrigo. But the men from Brittany fought back in the second half, first equalising through Thibaut Gires in the 74th minute, his first goal in Ligue 1 since 2004, and then going in front four minutes later through Ladislas Dunamia after a remarkable ball in from Stephen Langil. 2 1, the final score. Finally, Ariel Jacobs' reign at the helm of Valenciennes got off to a bad start as they went 1-0 down at Rennes after just seven minutes. A wonderful finish from Fouad Kadir. And he struck again in the second half to make it 2-0. Getting on the end of this, Jonathan Petwapa cross. Valenciennes equalised throw through Anthony Letalek. When Benoit Costil spilled this Mao Melikson free kick. And Valenciennes even saved an improbable point as Marco de Silva equalised. It finished at 2-2 at the Stade de la Rue de Lorient. Well, all the results from week 10 then, with 28 goals scored in total. Very good home wins for Nice, Paris Saint-Germain and Saint-Étienne. While there were four away wins for Toulouse, Nantes, Gangon and Lille. So a look at the table then. Paris Saint-Germain reclaimed the top spot in Ligue 1. They're now two points ahead of Monaco and four ahead of Lille. Nantes are fourth, while the other promoted side, Gangon, are up to ninth. Valenciennes remain bottom of the pile, with Lorient and Sochaux joining them in the relegation zone. Lyon's draw with Bordeaux leaves them in 11th. Well, next week, Nantes and Lille kick things off on Friday before a cracking trio of matches on the Sunday. Bordeaux, Montpellier and Monaco-Lyon before the champions Paris Saint-Germain travel to face Saint-Étienne.